So here is an old audio oscillator. I guess they're called function generators these days. Uh, this is a very old Hewlett Packard function generator. Uh, it was issued to Battelle and it looks like it was accessed and given to me by a friend. I took the top off of it today to look inside. I wanted to get, I was planning to throw it out. Um, I wanted this thing off of it. I figured it was some kind of variac or big variable resistor. But I opened the top of it. I don't want to touch anything because some of these capacitors might still be charged. But I looked inside this thing and the first thing that I noticed was this massive variable capacitor. And when I turn the knob here, which changes the frequency, you can see that these two are actually geared. It turns, it goes through a uh, ceramic dielectrics dielectric so that looks like this thing is charged with pretty high voltage so that when this thing is charged it doesn't come through it and back out to the handle here. But it changes these gears and changes these two capacitors and synchronous but I mean just the sheer size of these things I just thought that was so dang cool. This thing's got a slip clutch on it so I don't tighten it too far. Not exactly sure how this thing works. There's a couple, there's a tube back here, transformer, uh, a couple power resistors and diodes. It looks like for the different settings and function types. That's just the preset, I guess. Uh, got a small variable capacitor back here. Looks like some kind of tuning. I'm guessing. Um, I mean, it works just fine. Um, I just thought that was really cool, and I thought you guys might want to see that. Let me turn this again. I've just never seen a variable capacitor this large. I thought that was really cool. I'm not sure I'm going to have to be able to throw this away. <laughs> this, is, this is a really cool piece of history.